Hi, in this video, we will teach you how to use the Minor Miners app. If you have not set up an account yet, whether you are a parent or a kid, please watch the previous tutorial video. Now let's assume that your parents has already set up an account for you and this is how you're going to log in each time. Choose your role that you're a minor, which means a kid. Input your parents' email and just log in as usual. And then you'll be taken to this blue home page where after you've logged in each time when you click into minor minors app you should see this page here under the learning tab you will see all the videos in the languages that you are learning since your parents have said that you are learning poodle war in german all the videos in these two languages will be placed here at this moment all the videos are produced in-house, but we are going to release these functions to all the users. So you are going to see more videos in different languages. Next is the native tab. In there, you will see all the videos in your native languages. As your parents said that you are native in English and Cantonese, um, you're going to see those videos. If you press the top right key, then you see you can change the display order of the videos. By default, we show you the latest videos, but obviously you can change it to the most comments so that you can join in the conversations or those videos who have the most views. And for the language parts, by default, we show you all the languages that you, have, you are native in, but you can choose only to show one of them as you may only want to see the videos of one languages at that time. If you click into any of the videos, this is actually where the learning begins. Here, you will notice you are only allowed to leave audio comments, and this is intentional. We want to encourage listening and speaking by watching a lot of videos and immerse into the language. We hope it can help the learners to start to communicate in the language. You can ask questions. Others are free to chip in. In this same page, you can follow the person who produced this video. You can like this video, and you can share this video out. To leave a comment, you can just press the button and release to send. Right next to the comment tab is the playlist tab. You can see that this video belongs to a few playlists. If you are interested in one of them, you can click into it. And if you like this playlist, it will be saved in the saved playlist tab, where if there are new videos added to it, you can watch them easily and be notified. Next is the search function. There are four things for you to search. First is tag, what the videos are tagged for, our group chat, the playlist, and users. We'll first talk about group chat. Now that even if you can search the group, if you are only a free user and have not entered the circle of trust, you won't be able to access them. Same for user. If you can find anybody there you can click into the profile and see the brief details you can follow that person for free user you can follow but you cannot have a private chat with them if you press the chat button you won't be able to access it in this profile you will see what groups that persons are in what videos they have produced and other brief details like the gender the age and the native languages and next we talk about your own profile at the top left corner you will see a trophy if you click into it you will see a leaderboard which shows the top three users of that particular week if you click the view profile button you can see that particular person's profile if you click the top right corner key of your profile you'll get into your own settings where the first detail is the language to learn as the learner yourself you are free to change the settings. Let's say we want to add one more language, French here. This setting will affect what videos will be showed to you at the learning tab, and you'll be notified when a French group has been set up. Now this stage is to walk through parents how to enter the kids into the circle of trust. If the parents have logged into the account, you will see at the third row is the membership plans. If you click into it, there are only two choices either you are the free user or you can enter the circle of trust for a one-off one us dollar once you have paid if you get back into the membership plans again it will show you your kids already in so when the kids re-log into their account 
they should be able to access the group chat and the private chat functions, which are the essential parts of the minor minors language learning. Here at the top part, you see the discover groups area, where all the groups that have been created are shown here. The most active one will be shown in front. Below the picture, you see the subject of the group and which language the group belongs to. You can freely join whatever groups you find interested and immerse into the language, have fun, enjoy and learn at the same time. If you find it hard to search the groups here, you can press the show all button where you can sort whatever language you want to choose and display the groups in different order. Now let's say we click into one of the groups. First, if you like it, after you've read the content, you need to join this group first. Once you've joined, you can join in the communications. Of course, the first thing is you can leave audio message. You can type or you can use the magic pen to write or draw. Or sometimes even you cannot say it in that language. You can take a picture and ask someone to help you out. Bottom part of the group chat, this is the groups that you've created. The second tab is the groups that you've joined. And the third is the groups that is your favorite groups. Sometimes you've joined a lot, right? So that you can star a particular groups that's so easier for you to get into the group. Now, talking about how to create a group, it is easy, but and we'll go through the major bit. You can first take a photo of it and uh, name the group on the particular subject you want to talk about. It has to belong to a particular language. And the third part is you can invite your friends, you can invite the followers so that you can have a core group of people joining your group in the first place. Now that you see the group has been created and in the discover groups area, you can see the new group is right in front. Now that we've come to the private chat part, since you have watched videos and have talked to a lot of people in group chats, you may have known somebody and have become friends with them. It's time for you to have a private chat with them to accelerate the learnings. Now that you can request a chat with them by pressing the red button, all the records of your communication between an individual will be saved under the private chat page. In this case, you can easily access to all the private chat records. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions about the Minor Minus app, please email us at hi at minorminus.com. Leave us a message at the contact us page in the app or even just send us a message in any of the social media account. We will try to get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.